hello guys welcome to solving solutions on bond channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been we are going to show you how to use your solving calculator to carry out some tasks in other words just to enhance your productivity right good so now when you've um, opened or let's say launched the solving um, um, calculator application you then um, get the home page or let's say the first page to be like this right good now you come down to distance comma bearing now there are different um, functions that you are going to enjoy or different tools you are going to enjoy right good so we have a major distance comma bearing we have a um, sloped distance we have distance as a mode from lat and long we have um, xy from distance comma bearing we have lat and long from distance and then azimuth this is like um, a reciprocal of distance comma azimuth from lat and long then this is lat and long from distance comma azimuth right good then we have a um, bearing calculator then we now have angle major angle from three points now as surveyors or maybe someone related to surveying you know these are actually applications we carry out on site or even in our what even in our offices so let's start with um, one of these just a few of them let's see major distance comma bearing so we need to impute the x and y coordinates of two points because for you to have a bearing you must have a line right good so for you to also have a line you need two points so those two points will now be plotted to give you the line then you now measure the distance and the bearing of that line right good so now let's now try to get the x and y coordinates of two points good so we've actually imputed the the eastern and northern coordinates of those two points that we want to use right good so we can see the eastern and northern now you know when we were using the manual method let's say backward computation in our traverse computations right good we had a order right an order let's use that we had an order of um, arranging those um controls or those coordinates so you can refer to those videos to see um, exhaustively why we need to order them that way so we have um, two controls or two coordinates here and then we want to get the distance and bearing as we have seen here between them so when you've imputed your coordinates you just click on equal to then when you do that you would see what your distance the distance between them and then you would also see the bearing between them so the bearing is actually displayed in decimal degrees so when you type 7.3664 degrees on your calculator you should be able to arrive at what 71 degrees 21 minutes 59.04 um, seconds right good so that shows or that gives what the bearing between or the bearing of that line right good that shows the bearing of that line so this is how you can use solving calculator to do what to determine the distance and bearing between what two points right now let's look at another tool let's look at them um, the distance comma azimuth from lat and long now if you have a um, lat and long of two points maybe the latitude and longitude of two points and then you want to get their distance and bearing you can actually use this uh, particular tool now the difference is that the lat and long are geographic right good then this can be seen the coordinates we can see uh, the coordinates we have here rather can be seen as what projected so if you have um, any degree minute and seconds coordinates you can actually impute them here and then you would get what the distance and bearing or the distance and azimuth between what those points now let's come down to major angle from three points let's now look at this so we have um, we are going to impute coordinates of three points here let's say you want to carry out a um, control check and then your instrument maybe is perhaps set at point b then you are observing to point a and point c so you want to know the included angle at what at the angle at point b right good you want to know the angle at point b to now check if those controls are in situ right good so there can be other applications but just trying to narrow it down to the application in surveying so now we are going to impute the the three coordinates of the controls of the controls um, a b c then we now determine what the included angle between what these three controls right good good so we have the coordinates of the three points 
a b and c we are assuming them to be a b and c okay good they are even a b and c according to the image we have here and then we want to get the angle at point b right good so i haven't imputed just click on equal to so you now see the the included angle at point b being displayed in decimal degrees right so we have 55 sorry 45.7966 degrees right good that's equivalent to 45 degrees 47 minutes 47.76 seconds so this is actually the angle included or let's say the angle suspended or whatever i want to use this is the included angle at what at point b right good so with this you can compare it with what you've gotten previously or maybe what was given to you and then you will know if your controls are in situ or they are not or perhaps you are applying it for what a different purpose so we have actually explored um, this uh, major distance bearing we've shown you this okay we didn't talk about slope distance we've shown you how to use the distance um, azimuth when you have your lat and long same thing as um, getting your lat and long from what from um, lat and long from distance azimuth right good then um, now the point here is that you need to have a starting lat and long the distance the azimuth then it now gives you what the lat and long of the next point right good so that's just the idea behind this you're coming from a and then you want to know b so you know the coordinates of a then the distance and bearing from a to b then it will now help you determine the coordinates of b so that's the idea behind this particular um particular tool so um you can just explore all of these other options here and then see how you can get them the best out of them so they can help you on field they can help you in the office they can help you almost everywhere even in school right good so we hope we have um, opened your eyes and um, we've explored a few of them and we also implore you to explore and then exploit um, some of these um, options that are in this um, solving calculator application. So we are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep staying safe, keep exploring and exploiting and have a very good time. Bye.